hello my friends uh, i am mayur uh, today i am going to show you uh, how to do animation in powerpoint presentation so i have already prepared uh, this uh, slide in which i have done some animation so let's see what it is so what i have shown i have shown these uh, two tanks tank a and tank b so when uh, this hand pushes this button this wall red color wall which is at, uh, at present close will turn green means it gets open and the water from tank a will get transferred to tank b so let's start this animation so i'll click here this uh, text will come press this button to transfer water from tank a to tank b so after whether i click on this button or anywhere all anywhere else on the screen doesn't matter just i need to click after clicking this hand will move and press this button wall turns green gets open and water from tank a will get transferred to tank b so this is just a simple animation which i have done so let's see how i had done it let's create a new slide delete all this stuff then just copy this background which i have all downloaded from internet you can also download any background which you want to have it on your slide and adjust its size to fit on the screen okay now i will draw two tanks go to insert shapes select rectangle draw one rectangle now we need to copy this now what we will do we will show one rectangle as a main tank and one rectangle as the water inside the tank now double click on this rectangle select outline as black then uh, right click format shape go to line style select width as 6 select this which will show as water then go to outline select no outline okay now we need this need to change this color to white and overlap it over here okay now we'll select this white color rectangle go to animation custom animation add effect entrance and select wipe now we will select this direction with the right now select at bottom to from top then change its speed to slow now you can see you are getting a effect of water is getting drained okay now select all these two rectangles paste it to have the second tank at bottom now here what we need to show water is getting filled so we need to change the color we need to show this as water getting filled in blue color and the main tank we need to show as empty so we will show as white now we'll just overlap it here now since i had copied these rectangles from here so whatever the animation i had applied here got applied to here also so but we need to change it instead of from top we need to select from bottom so we'll get a effect as as if the water is getting filled okay then we will show these pipes i'll just copy this from here to get it done faster and just adjust this tank and just select this support okay okay this pipe is getting overlapped so what we'll do select both the rectangles right click bring to front okay now i'll show you how i have done drawn this wall just delete it there are two walls so go to insert shapes select a rectangle rotate it 
change its color to red to show wall as closed copy paste it then rotate it in another direction and just bring it close to the first triangle select both the triangles right click group them together okay and bring it to here now after pressing that button we want this wall to turn green so what we'll do we can copy paste the wall and this will change its color to green okay now i'll just copy this button and stand from here not button it's support here again it is getting overlapped so select this bring to front then draw the button get a circle double click change its color to whatever you want change its outline give it some 3d effects okay then bring it here now need to draw a hand go to insert clip art search here for hand go you will get result and select uh, whatever you want i have selected this one now i want this hand to travel from somewhere from here to here so what we'll do i'll keep this hand first here where i want it to reach then go to add effect motion path and select down okay but i want it to move upward so what i'll do i'll again copy this hand control c control v okay now i'll select this second hand and place it somewhere here then delete its motion path select over hand go to add effect motion path and now select up now you can see this hand is moving a little bit higher than what we desire so we need to adjust this length so bring this red arrow to up to this green approximately okay now select the first hand and delete it now adjust the position of the hand and its motion path also okay now we want that text press this button to transfer water from tank a to tank b okay then we'll show one arrow pointing towards that button which we want to press okay Let's change its color then change the width pointed towards the button okay now we'll start animating the other things now this also tank we'll rename the tank sorry so this is our tank a and this is our tank b so uh, we have already animated the water tanks now we need to animate other things now we want this text and arrow to appear first so we will group them together select them right click group okay now go to add effect entrance appear now this has to be happened first so this you can see uh, you can relate this number huh? this four number is appearing here so this one is animation for this object so we need to shift this animation to first position and we want it to happen up uh, after a click mouse click then we want this hand to move upwards so we'll select that hand this is its animation so we need to shift it here this also should happen after a click now after that we want this button to get pushed 
so we'll have an animation to that button go to add effect emphasis select flash bulb okay so and shift this animation after hand movement okay and this should happen automatically so we'll select this instead of on click we'll select after previous means after this hand goes here then after pressing this button we want this uh, wall to turn green so we'll select this green wall select add effect go to entrance and uh, select uh, fade effect okay and we need to overlap it on this one okay now this also we need to shift it after this oval which is the button okay this is one now this should also happen automatically after pressing of the button now after this wall gets open this tank should get drained so here we will select after previous now for this tank this uh, animation should happen <coughs> simultaneously so we will select instead of after previous we will select with previous means at the same time water from this tank will start draining and water will start filling in this tank so this way our animation is complete now let's see how it looks on first click i got that text second click hand moves presses the button wall gets opened turns green and water gets transferred to tank b okay so that's how you do the animation simple animation in powerpoint presentation so if, uh, guys if you like my videos do subscribe to my channel i'll be uh, publishing my some other videos on uh, animation later on in the future so stay tuned thank you